Hi there guys, how's it going? This is Josh with Educryptocation. Um, today, I'm going to compare OpenSea versus Rarible. Um, these are NFT platforms, two of the most common. Um, and I know a lot of people have been wanting to know uh, a comparison and see which one's better. So I'm going to do a little uh, NFT platform comparison, OpenSea versus Rarible. The crypto market may have dipped lower than most expectations, but the NFTs continue to sell as ever, since there are plenty of NFT marketplaces now than a year before. Circling back to gauge how the top platforms perform is vital, hence the OpenSea vs. Rarible will oversee how both NFT marketplaces fare in 2022. Why compare OpenSea vs. Rarible? Well, both these marketplaces have a pretty significant market share in NFT sales year to year. So the comparison made here between OpenSea versus Rarible will naturally look into their feasibil feasibility in the current crypto market. Gas fees. Addressing the elephant in the room, i.e. the gas fee, is the primary reason for comparing NFT different NFT marketplaces. Hence, looking into a Rarible versus OpenSea comparison will inevitably discuss or examine the factors contributing to its values. That's why my... Uh, none of this is financial advice, by the way, guys. Um, and But I was just going to throw my opinion in there. That's why I choose uh, Cardano NFTs, because the gas you don't pay all these crazy gas fees or gra gas prices. Um... If you're into looking at any Cardano NFTs, it's uh, the website is cnft.io. Again, that's no financial advice. I can put that link down in the description as well if you guys want to check that out. Um, accessibility and tools. Any platform can allow users to mint NFT, but learning what the crypto NFT market giants have in common or dissimilar assisting the audience helps. It is vital to study the audience behavior, especially for auction houses, to offer the best to both sides. Market capitalization. Recognizing which NFT marketplace owns a significant portion of the market cap can reflect where the audience flock. Moreover, the leading NFT marketplace may also allow or support a variety of currencies and wallets. And then OpenSea NFT Marketplace Overview. The New York based decentralized exchange platform OpenSea allows users to mint NFT besides allowing NFT buying and selling operations. It has reportedly been the most popular platform for NFT sales because it is also the first NFT marketplace to exist. OpenSea, the reasonable rev revolutionary. Presently, the marketplace hosts over 34 million unique NFTs across thousands of NFT collections by crypto artists and auction houses. Plus, it has evolved to adopt a cross-chain marketplace function after its inception of being only Ethereum-based. Rarible NFT Marketplace Overview Rarible is originally a DAO that lets users create and sell art as NFTs after its launch in 2020. The platform allows users to create NFTs backed by smart contracts, providing them with the option to earn royalties on NFT sales. Rarible. Between the Rarible vs. OpenSea comparison, the former, the former has gained a reputation um, for being the most trustworthy. Apart from this, the marketplace provides additional data like the digital history of the asset and the other digital asset data relevant to developers for creating new applications. OpenSea vs. Rarible NFT Marketplace Quick Comparison The brief comparison between OpenSea vs. Rarible sees critical matters affecting the cost to mint NFT on their sale. Understanding the key differences could help you make informed decisions, especially as a crypto artist or an investor. Hence below are the categories within which both NFT marketplaces are quantified with respect to what they provide. Cryptocurrencies and crypto wallets. OpenSea offers support for linking numerous types of crypto wallets, including MetaMask, Coinbase, Bits Bitsky, and Formatic. Um, 
MetaMask being the most common, I think. That's the one most people use. That's the one I use, but there's definitely many choices. Parallelly, Rarible also supports all of them and allows linking Ethereum, MetaMask, and MyEtherWallet. But the major difference between both platforms lies in the coins or cryptos they accept. The Rarible only accepts ETH tokens and lists ETH NFTs only yet allowing payments via credit cards. Whereas OpenSea lets any buyer use uh, DAO, ETH, or other Ethereum based tokens. Or die, I should say. I think that's how you say it. Royalties. Between the OpenSea versus Rarible comparison regarding royalties they offer to the NFT creator, Rarible takes the lead. OpenSea offers a fixed 10% royalties on its NFT sales, which is no longer accessible if the NFT is sold on other platforms. On the other hand, Rarible allows the NFT creator to pick up to 50% royalties, besides allowing NFTs that it sells to continue earning royalties. Mint NFT fee and platform fee. Both platforms offer users the ability to lazy mint NFTs. By using it, individuals don't need to create smart contracts themselves, which otherwise incurs additional network fees. However, the platform fee charged by OpenSea and Rarible is also similar at 2.5%, which is significantly lower than the 15% levied by SuperRare. Security. There is no clear winner in the debate between Rarible versus OpenSea about which platform is safer. Both platforms have been in the public crosshairs for having issues related to security and data breaches in the past. Still, the OpenSea platform is relatively more prone to security attacks than Rarible despite the Rary tokens conundrum. Final words. OpenSea continues to dominate its top position as the biggest NFT marketplace in the crypto space, but it has competition. Other NFT platforms looks like Looks Rare have attempted to dethrone OpenSea, and it did until February 2022. At that time, rumors regarding wash trading or insider trading practices began to surface in the market about the Looks Rare platform. Such scandalous rumors and instances have undoubtedly pitted OpenSea versus Rarible again since no other crypto marketplace exists with a high trust ratio with the high trust ratio or the pop um i will have links at, after this guys uh how to, how to create a openc.io account and also if you're not sure um on how to create a metamask account and i also have other uh videos um explaining more about nfts if you check out my channel and like information or content like this about crypto subscribe please and um it'll help the algorithms and please like uh, my videos and i'll keep trying to put out more content like this if you have any uh request just go ahead and ask me and i'll be more than glad to do a video on whatever you need um whatever you're looking for thanks guys and have a great day